I forgot to set my alarm last night. I woke up a little bit late. Mmm. Yeah. This is breakfast. We have cereal right here, and oatmeal right here, and an orange right here. This is breakfast. If you wonder, Matt, why are the dishes filled up again over there? This is why. Two bowls of what are both considered cereal in one meal isn't probably necessary, but I'm hungry. And it's 11 o'clock right now, so this is basically breakfast and lunch. So Monday's gotten off to an extremely slow start, but I will rectify this situation and find something interesting to do or talk about or something. I don't know yet, but I will find out. Yep. So clearly the snow hasn't stopped, but it's gotten so much colder. It's like 25 degrees out now. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going right home to go be warm. Why? Why does this have to happen to me? This means I have to get out. It's the last thing I want to do right now. I think I'm gonna talk about how much I love New England and how much I fucking hate New England. But first, I want a salad. Okay, so, New England. Let's start with some positives. I love that everything is so accessible. What I mean by that is I can literally drive 10 minutes and go to the beach. I can drive 30 minutes and go into Boston, the city. And then I can drive two hours that way, go to the mountains. Like, everything is at my fingertips. All these different types of locations I don't have to go on an airplane to get to. Another thing I love about New England is the sports. They're fantastic. I obviously love New England because most of my family's here. All of my friends are here because I've been living here my whole life. But the, the this, I can't stand this. Like it's April, man, like I don't get it. Another thing I hate about New England is the driving. There's so many holes on the road. And while there's a ton of nice people in New England, most of them are generally assholes. It's not because they're bad people. I don't think there's like that many legitimately terrible people in the world that are just out to get you. I just think we're all in a bad mood. I think that's what, like we're just grumpy. I think that's it for now until I figure out something out. But this fucking weather, it just dictates my mood. Like if, if, if I'm subjected to this weather, then like I just have to stay inside and my day is just up. But then again, on the other hand, if it's gorgeous outside, I'm in like a great mood because that means I can go outside and do stuff and be fucking awesome. There's only so many things you can do in this little box that is my house. It is what it is. I'll stop bitching now. Continue with the rest of this video. I just want to apologize for that overabundance of F words in that last message. I'm sorry. The remainder of this video is not going to be chronologically perfect as I am filming these following events 
after I've already filmed the outro of this video. Just be wary of that. I'm going to Market Basket. I always find myself at the grocery store no matter what. I gotta walk around like I have a pimp limp. Because I probably could have done a better job when selecting footwear. I got slush in my flip-flop and I'm trying to pretend like it's not bothering me. But it's so cold. Girl, you know why I came here. Maybe a little bit of energy too. I know they're not good for me, shut up. I already made a video about it, you should go watch that. No matter how bad the weather is, this will always make me happy. I have to go to work, so I don't know if I'm gonna be filming anything else today. Uh, if I do, then this video will be longer. If not, it won't be. So yeah, time for me to go to work. All right, so it's currently 10.58 p.m. I gotta get up at 5 a.m., but that ghost mat thing you just saw, that took me like a half hour to figure out. But I thought it was pretty cool, so appreciate it. Thank you, good night.